One of the biggest factors about planning to move onto a narrow boat is that at some point you've got to deal with the amount of stuff that you've got. We've been doing this over the last couple of years in small stages and over the last few days we've been trying to sort out our clothes and we've been doing it using something that's called the KonMari method. There's a full explanation of it that I will actually link to in the description of this video, but the short version is that the KonMari method is a method of sorting out your life, of simplifying things. And the, the basic idea is that, say if you're tackling clothes or books or DVDs, you tackle one, one kind of group of stuff all in one go. You get everything out at the same time, and then you group those in like little subgroups, like with, with clothes, you group all the shirts together, uh, you group all, all, all the trousers together, and then you go through and you judge things basically by the main rule that you're supposed to use as to whether you keep something is, does it spark joy? Which is an odd phrase when you first hear it, but does it have happy associations, you know? Or is it worn and falling apart a bit, or whatever? Um, if it sparks joy, you keep it. If it's practical and still in good condition, you can make a decision on it. Other than that, it goes. And we've been doing our best to uh, do that over the last few days, and the results have been interesting. Okay, how are you doing with your stuff? I mean, are you... Are you... Oh, I'm virtually done, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, right. It's taken me spe... less time. Oh. <laughs> but only because I've already been through them about a million times. Well, exactly. I've a lot of things on eBay. Exactly. You've done a lot of culling already. It's easy <laughs> for you. So, the, we're, we're doing the KonMari method. How, how recently did you spot this? Um, I've known about it for a while and wanted to... Um, to actually do it on our stuff, but um, haven't had time to actually do any tidying because we've been building, but uh, um, I've got a lot of energy at the moment, so I thought I'd go for it this weekend, and uh, yeah, I don't have many clothes left. <laughs> if we were doing it properly, we'd have everything on the floor. And we yes. have We've had a lot of stuff on the floor over the last couple of days. Uh, we we didn't have room to get it all out at once. Yeah, but this is the thing. We tried I, I, to get like all of a category yeah. out on the floor. I, I, I did point out that I have this suspicion that the KonMari method was invented by someone with a very big house. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, yeah, we've, uh, how do you think it's been going? Um, I, I shocked and amazed myself in the first five minutes with how much stuff that I managed to throw away. Um, that I thought I was going to keep. <laughs> Just when when you really um, get down to it and think, do I love this? Yeah, because that's the whole, it, the phrase sparking joy has been yeah. used an awful lot, but that's, that's the whole principle of it, isn't it? I mean... Yeah, it's, you have to really want to keep it. Not sort of like, if you're like, oh, maybe, not sure then it needs to go. You know, you want you want to end up with a house full of things that you truly love. If you're not sure about it, then you don't love it. These aren't even staying, they're, they're yeah. actually going. I just don't want to put those on the floor. Um, so that's, that's my wardrobe now. That's it? That's, yeah. That, that will fit in an arrow boat. Yeah. Is that it for shoes? Or? I think so. Okay. You were sort of hyping it up as if I had this sort of secret stash and... Oh god, I do have a secret stash! <laughs> Shit! Okay. What the hell? <laughs> it can't all be mine. That's impossible. I told you you had more shoes than me. <laughs> I do not have more shoes than you. That is... <laughs> Seriously, there's no, you know... <laughs> Moving on to a narrowboat. Was the idea of not actually having much stuff quite appealing, the fact that it was like a necessity. <laughs> you can't, you know, because you can't really be a hoarder and move on to yeah, an airboat. I've, I've felt really um, tied down by my stuff. 
Because um, you did, it, it should be pointed out here, you, you did have a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. When, when we first moved in together, because um, I'd come from living in a four bedroom house, um, our, our little two bedroom apartment was just, it was so full that uh, I had my clothes rails in the kitchen because there was nowhere else to put them. <laughs> And they were there for quite a while, weren't yeah. they? We sort of had this little path around the clothes rails next to the units. There were times when I was worried about burning my my clothes because they were so close to the oven. It was not good. I, I, I guess one of, one of the advantages of doing this is that you occasionally find just uh, delightful things like this. Here's a hilarious panda, tea, uh, panda hoodie that I uh, bought off eBay. Um, and... I like the look of it on eBay, but I like the book of it when I saw the back when I got it in real life. It's amazing. The friend is this anima, <laughs> being friend, nihi you giran, I predis treasure, and running, I get to sleep it for the rest of my life. <laughs> I just, you know, it's a, it's such a shame because it doesn't quite fit, does it? Yeah, it's epic. Yeah. It doesn't fit. Damn. And so it's, go <laughs> it, is it going? It's going. It's Tragic, but fair. <laughs> it's kind of liberating. Really liberating. Isn't it? Yeah. I've been keeping a lot of things over guilt. Just if you buy something and then you don't wear it because it turns out it doesn't feel right, you know, it scratches you or something. Um, you don't want to get rid of it because you've spent money on it and it's new and it's wasteful to get rid of it. Um, and. You don't want to open your wardrobe and just feel guilt. You know, this is supposed to be sort of stuff you love, stuff you enjoy having there. So get rid of it. Stop feeling guilty, just get rid of it. Mm.